Okay, and welcome to C Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to do a follow-up on what's called the slipstone pan. Both of these are called slipstone. Now, I don't remember when we purchased it because I didn't look back on the old video for it, but I want to follow up. Now, the little pan didn't hold up well. Um, the problem with the little pan is this, and I tried to we tried to tighten it to get it to work better, and it didn't work better. See how dangerous this is? The slipstone pan became dangerous like after we had it for two months because this, fit, this pan would never tighten right. See? It's just terrible. I don't even want to use it anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do with this pan. That's all that pan is worth. Garbage. Okay. But I want to tell you the difference on the bigger pan. The bigger pan, which the handle is made so you can push the button and store it like this. Okay, now the bigger pan, the larger, let's see what size is this? Well, let's just say the larger slipstone. This handle held up well. It locked and it unlocked and it's safe to use. I wouldn't recommend the little one, but I recommend the bigger one. And we, I don't, we both have had these a good while. So I don't know how long this handle is going to stay good, but it's good. This one is good. I don't even recommend the big one because after what happened to the small one, I have a fear of the same thing happening with this one. I have a fear with the same thing happening with this one. But there it is. This is an update on a product review of that is called, yep, Slipstone, which w David purchased both of these at Walmart. And, I, and since he did the purchase, I'm going to let him do the finishing comments on this. Well, the bigger one, because it's got this secondary handle on here, I think if this handle messes up, it's not as big of a deal, basically, because you can use it for like cooking stuff in, then you can pick it up with this handle here. Problem is when the problem is with the small one, this handle. It's dangerous. Since it's gone, since it's gone so loose, is that if you go to pick it up, just so you know why. David personally tried to tighten it with the Phillips screwdriver, but it didn't do any good. You know what I'm going to do is uh, another video. I want to take the handle apart, and take a look in, and see what went wrong. So, to our viewer, regular viewers. Thank you for watching. To our subscribers, thank you for watching. To our notification squad, you would subscribe. And you press the little notification bell. A big thank you. And to our Patreon, a huge thank you for watching. As always, peace out.